blog.startwithelaine.com and welcome to this week's Fun Friday project. Today is week five in my Countdown to Halloween series and we're going to be making this cute little packaging for chocolate lollies. Let's gather our supplies you need the cookie cutter Halloween stamp set. I've got mine in wood, but you can also get it in clear. You need the cookie builder punch. If you haven't got this punch yet, in fact, it is bundled with the cookie cutter Christmas photopolymer set. And the great thing about it is that it also coordinates with the cookie cutter Halloween stamp set. You need some basic grey cardstock. I'm still using the sheets, the 12 by 12 sheets from the Halloween night 12 by 12 cardstock which I featured last week. Out of a 12 by 12 sheet you can get nine of these wrappers. You need scraps of Whisper White and envelope punch board Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. This is from the Brights collection, so you need Rich Razzleberry and Pumpkin Pie and Old Olive. New to the Autumn Winter catalogue, you can now buy uh, marker pens in pairs, um, only for certain colours though. And this is for Halloween, it's called um, Pumpkin Pie and Old Olive. Stuff and write markers. Delicate doilies and Halloween enamel dots. First you need to cut your cardstock out of a 12 by 12 basic grey sheet. You can get nine three and three quarter by three and three quarter inch squares. Bring in your envelope punch board and you need to bud that up to the one and five eighth inch mark and you punch and score that's the only measurement you need and then next you follow all the score lines on this beak here where it says score guide so then you just punch and score put it up to the score guideline punch and score punch and score then up here you have a corner rounder so you want to corner round all four sides burnish all the score lines Down one end, centre your one eighth inch handheld punch and punch a hole. Really depends on how big your lolly stick is. Now this has got a wrapper around it and so if the hole is too small it's going to ruck up the foil. So I've just used the punch to make the hole a little bit larger. Now I'm going to stamp the vampire in Memento Black ink. And I'm going to colour him in with the pumpkin pie for the cross. Old Olive for his waistcoat. Now you notice he's got his ears missing, but I'm going to have to punch that out first. And then these two little circles here, that's where I'll have to stamp his ears. You can see his ears here. can't have a vampire without his ears, can we? So back with my Memento Black ink and there's a right ear and a left ear. Hopefully I'll get it on the spot. 
move. That's better. Just a tip, when you're stamping his ear, you need to stamp it um, towards the edge because the other bit will be glued behind his head. It's easier to put the glue on the back of his head. You can see where I made the mistake. I painted him with a green face and then decided I didn't like it. So, because this is a silicon mat, you can just pop his ear on. Eek. and one on that side and I also want to stamp his little bag of treats now that one I will have to fussy cut so let's colour just a teensy bit of colouring on here just cut by hand now take the, one of the delicate doilies. You have to be careful because sometimes they stick together so make sure you've only got the one sheet. Fold it in half and snip it in half and then fold that into a quarter. Tombow glue on the inside to stick it down. And now we're ready to assemble our box. Put a glue dot on the back of the envelope and fold it back. This is where your lollipop goes in. So you need a glue dot on here. Fold that in and maybe one on here glue dots on there on there fold that over okay then you want to sort of scrunch this up a little bit sorry about the interruption um, <clears throat> it was somebody at the door wanting to leave a parcel for my neighbour so now we just want to put it in there glue that in there so that it's secure Now you can put it back in. A bit of Tombow on the back of Dracula. A bit of glue on the back of that for his carrying his little bag of goodies. And to finish off a couple of enamel dots. Voila! All finished. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find a list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed here on my blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.